Welcome to the Bourbon Jerk. Thanks for the click. Today we're talking about double oaked whiskey, which is one of my favorite categories or types of whiskey. I'm gonna tell you six double oaked whiskeys that you should go hunt for right now. For those of you who don't know, here's how double oaking typically works. Whiskey is aged in a new charred oak barrel for a certain period of time. And then instead of it being dumped and bottled, it's actually transferred to a second barrel for additional aging. The second barrel is usually another charred oak barrel or a toasted barrel. And the idea here is that the whiskey absorbs twice as much flavor and results in a really concentrated flavor profile. To me, these tend to be really dense, sticky, sweet, and saturated with oak in your traditional bourbon notes like your brown sugars, vanillas, and caramels. That being said, here's six double oaked whiskeys that you need to hunt. First is Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. I don't actually have a bottle of it handy. I recently finished my last one. Now, this is the first double oak bourbon that I ever tried, and it really kind of blew me away. Uh, looking back, this actually might have been the one whiskey that kind of steered me away from scotch and more towards bourbon. To me, it's a very cherry and chocolate forward experience. Kind of has like a dessert-like quality to it. If you've never tried a double oak bourbon, this is probably the best one to start with for two reasons, actually. Uh, first is that the price point is very friendly at around 60 to 65. And two, I don't really have to hunt very hard for this one. It's likely on the shelves of just about every liquor store and a lot of grocery stores too. It's pretty common to find a store pick of one of these as well, and those can be even better than the standard release. Next is Pursuit United Double Oak Bourbon. Uh, Pursuit United was started by Kenny Coleman and Ryan Cecil, who built their brand on the back of their popular Bourbon Pursuit podcast. Their whiskey is sourced and blended, and this one is then actually finished on seasoned, toasted French oak staves. Now, this delivers a silky smooth butterscotch or Werther's type profile. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is actually the first product of theirs that I've tried. I understand that they've also got a double oaked rye uh, that may have just come out that I've definitely got to try. Third is Hirsch, single barrel double oaked. This might be a little bit more of a deep cut. I don't know how hard these are to find, but a local store here did this pick at the very end of last year. Wasn't too sure about it at first, but after I read a little bit more about what it was, I knew I had to try it. It's actually a blend of 95% eight year, seven month bourbon, 5% three year, seven month bourbon. What made this a must try for me is that the older bourbon is sourced from Willet. I believe the younger bourbon is from Barton, maybe 1792. It comes in at over 128 proof, it is an absolute banger. If you happen to come across a single barrel pick of one of these, grab it and thank me later. Next up, and I've talked about this one on a few other videos of mine, it's the Sagamore Double Oak Rye. It's another one that you won't have to search very hard for. It's quite available. And why I like this one, I recommend it, is because I think it kind of hits that intersection of what I think everybody enjoys. If you like bourbon, you're gonna like it. If you like rye, you're gonna like it. If you like double oak stuff, you're gonna like it. If you like higher proof stuff, I think it drinks higher than the proof point of about 98. It's just kind of one of those just right products. Give it a shot. Now, what if I told you there was a brand out there that only puts out double oak bourbons? I'm talking about 2XO or two times oak, uh, which was started by master blender Dixon Deadman about two years ago or so. Now they've actually got a few different lines. They've got the oak series, which are their lower proof, lower price blends. Uh, the Icon series, which these are, seems like they do about three of these a year, and they've all been really good. In fact, I think each successive release has been better than the previous batch. And then they've got their top tier called the Gem of Kentucky, which I think go for about 200 bucks a pop. So he's really got you covered if you want to get deeper into the double oaked expressions. Last, I'm going to tell you that you need to check out Peerless Double Oak Bourbon. To me, this has like a chocolatey candy bar type vibe to it that turns into almost like a root beer float note at the end of it. It's 108 proof, and just under 100 bucks, but I think this one is definitely worth hunting down. I just posted a short review on this one and there were several comments telling me that their double oaked rye is even better. Let me know in the comments what you think of these bottles. Let me know what your favorite double oaked whiskeys are. Thanks for checking out the video. Last, I wanna say a big thank you to our very first Patreon members. We just started a Patreon page last month I'll post a link in the description. Check it out. We're definitely going to do some cool stuff there and have a lot of fun. So come join us. Till next time, cheers. Thanks for watching. Stay jerky.